Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Vase Plays Europa Universalis 4. So ignore what happened in the last couple minutes of yesterday's episode. We're not going to go to war. Instead, we're going to, you know, sit on our buns and pray no one comes to war with us. Uh, China is at war. Hopefully, that will uh, cause them to shatter into a thousand pieces and allow us to uh, take the land that we want without having to deal with a massive superpower. So we've got two right now. Um, so yeah, our, our stability is low. We are going to need to fix that. Hold on now. Ah, uh, and they're winning that war. Um, so. Yikes. Uh, we need to raise our stability um, a couple times. But, you know, again, it, it, this may well be a hurry up and wait episode. Yesterday kind of, you know, we cored out all of Korea. This is... Gainfully. Crowns often granted trading companies the exclusive rights to trade goods in a region. These monopolies were granted in exchange for a lump sum payment and continuing revenues from the trade. Manchu gets trade income increase until 7th of November, November 1484. Giving the... I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, we'll probably go up in uh, dip diplomacy, actually. So yeah, what, what do we do? Uh, we are becoming a diverse entity. Um, I'm really hoping that they're getting their asses kicked over here. Um, so we're going to do stability, and then we're going to try to get to our national idea. The lower our stability, the worse things go. So we need to start raising that just a little bit. Um, it's going to cost us a lot of administrative power. But, uh, you know... Disputed succession. Um, I don't even know where this is. All the way over here. Really? Over there? Okay. Um, disputed succession, really not something that I need to worry about, to be fr to be frank. Um, the people closest to us are at war. How is Japan doing? Japan's doing... You know... Well... Oh. Allied vassal, right? Okay. Yeah, um. No idea, to be honest with you, what we're doing. <laughs> we're losing prestige at a pretty bad rate. That, you know, is fair. Oop, sorry for kind of breathing in. I think my headphones are starting to go a little bit. It's a little late, but, you know, I'm, I'm happy. We need to start. We need to start moving at the at this moment we're kind of i don't want to say treading water because it's it's a hard metric really to go um why can we not go to that i don't know it, it'll be nice if we can get hokkaido under our control um that will be the next step I don't want to spend diplomatic power just yet. I want to kind of get a bit more of a stockpile. We may be able to to rank up in uh, military, which is good. They're at military 5, which is ridiculous. Uh, Korea isn't even in existence anymore. We're, we're Manchuria now. Um, they are losing, actually. I don't know. Um... You know, I'd like to go to war with them. <laughs> I would, just to kind of take some of their land, because it, fe it feels like they're blobbing out of control. But uh, I'm actually kind of scared, especially with our stability so low, that going to war may not be a good idea, actually. So, Hmm. Yep. No idea. Um, if I see this dipping into the negatives, which it actually kind of is... If I start seeing land over here get taken, uh, then it may be time to declare war on these assholes. Raising stability to zero isn't going to cost us too much. Um, where is that? Stability and expansion is going to take us 134 power. So, yeah. Colonial range, we need to raise that. Global settler increase, we need to increase that. Colonist travel time, we need to increase that. 
all oh, things that we must do if we are to survive as a thriving country. But you know, we've we're, we've got a solid grasp on our land. Um, no threats have come our way just yet, and I've been paused for a little while talking. Apologies. Just wondering why things weren't improving any. We need to get our legitimacy back on the increase. And it is, uh, 1476. So, I don't know. What is our goal? I don't even really have a goal, to be honest. I'm just keeping my ears and eyes to the ground here. We also have a royal marriage with the Oriet Horde, which, uh, breaking will, uh, probably cause a stability loss. They don't want that, yeah? We don't have any diplomats to send anyway, so... Um... Ming has been... You asshole, Ming. Are you still at war? You are, but not with a lot of people. Um... I don't want to go to war with you. I'd like to see you just crumble into a thousand pieces. And, uh, yeah, no idea. We need to get our stability up. That's all I know. Is there anything I can do in the meantime? No. Passing Mining Act. Formalized scales, weights, and measures. That would be nice. Uh, technology, administrative technology has to be five, though. Uh, create great standing army, 10 gain prestige. It is not substitution. The ruler is a general. Have the green standard army. I don't know how to do that. Is at war with the Ming. Oh, okay. Um, the ruler is a general. Have the eight banners. Manage has stability of at least three. Well, that definitely isn't us. Harbin is our... I don't know. Things are going not great. Things aren't going bad, mind you, but things are not going great. I know I've said that before, but uh, I really want to just stomp all over the main. <laughs> We're not going to win. Uh, there's no way we'll win, but that's okay. Okay, we have a guy back. He'll come back in 50 days. That's crazy. Um, and yeah, slowly but surely. Like I said, if we could become, uh, if we could become a trade power, that'd be great. There's, there's just there. We had to find a way to get to the west, which will make our country look retarded. But uh, that's okay. Uh, both of them are back. Let's see what would happen. They're still okay with us. Um, I wish we could kind of say, hey guys, look, this confusion thing. It's pretty good. Um, let's see what happens. Break royal ties. No, I don't think so. Um, you know, let's improve relations. We might, might as well. And, um, I really don't know what to do with this other diplomat, to be honest with you guys. Let's spread out. What's Chagatai? They're Sunni. And, uh, you know, they're okay. The Chagatai Khanate. This is the Oriet Horde, right? The Ming hate our guts. Like I said, uh, next next game may well be the Oriet Horde. Uh, we take up slowly, but, uh, you know, not a lot I can say about that. Westernization would actually be a lot easier, and that may actually be our eventual goal with the Oriet Horde. Become a Western nation. Or Western power. And then, who knows? Uh, the sky Definitely wouldn't be a game like this so and i like that about this game uh certainly it definitely has its oh um focus on mercantilism is making life hard for our merchants who trade in foreign places gain you know that's fine it's 10 that's not so bad um you know we're gonna keep our eye on ming um the oriet horde should slowly start liking i mean they're friendly they like us a whole lot um, I wish we could, you know, make them happier with us. We can't really do anything about that. Uh, and we can gain our stability back to one. Guarantee that it's going to drop back down here real soon. It, it's so bad like that. Um, so we're definitely not going to tech up anytime soon. Probably in the next 10 years, we'll be able to tech up again. 
But you know, we're gonna raise our military. We're gonna keep we're we're gonna keep teching up in military. You had best freaking believe we're gonna keep teching up in military. Um we're also gonna be teching up here in diplomacy real freaking soon. Um we need nine hundred, so yeah, real soon. Uh, you know, sometimes these these sit around and not do anything episodes happen. Um, I'm really surprised that the Senkoku Jidai has not kicked off. I wouldn't mind... Told you. Uh, Manchu gains claim on Doornod. Oriet Horde gain diplomatic causes belly on Manchu. We also lose a lot of, you know, that sucks. But, uh... Not a whole lot I could do there. I could, you know, go back to negative one stability, thus negating the whole point that I spent, you know, or I could take my lumps. And we are indeed... Really? It said we needed 900. Oh, no, we needed 900 military. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go up a diplomacy rank. Um, max colonial range is increased. That's good, actually. We we actually needed that. Holy crap. Um, that's really, really good. Um, I don't know what else we did, but... I can't say I'm unhappy about that. And then we only need 90 more, so... That's gonna be another year or so. They're still at 5, they're still at 3... I keep wanting to check where Korea is, but Korea doesn't freaking exist anymore. They're at three. Oh, uh, they're at four. They're at three. Maybe I'll do Japan. Who knows, man? That would actually be really interesting. I made a uh, test run that uh, while this episode compiles and see just kind of what we're looking at there. Uh, the Senkoku Jidai is pretty rough. I don't really know what happens when you v have vassals. They c they can start coring these guys. Oh, um, people are losing confidence. Why do we lose stability? Oh, because our emperor died. God damn it. Six, six, three. Well, that sucks. We just wasted that. I mean, we didn't waste it, because then we would have had, you know... Oh, we're losing so much... Legitimacy. We needed to make sure that... Uh, it's really not what I wanted. But, damn it. You know? We're, we're still alive, though. Um, I know. I know they really want former Pyongyang. I know they want it. Yes, I love a good story. Lose 10 administrative power. I can't afford that. Don't really want to lose the prestige, either. Um... You, Yearly prestige would go up, making our decay. You know, I, I'm gonna try to go back to positive or even stability. God damn it! <laughs> I told you every effing second, every effing second they they throw a negative stability at me, which really puts a damper on my spirits. Sometime, and another ten years tick by without really accomplishing anything. It's been hard times for us, man. That's our second ruler that's died in almost f 40 years? Holy crap. These guys are just not doing well. Um, the Orient Horde is going to feel upset at us for a little while, but... Oh, uh, they're hostile toward us. That's not good. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Very sorry. I wish I could soothe our war. This may be the end. Excuse me, and that'd be real unfortunate. Um, we don't really have a military leader, but uh, we're getting more diplomatic power, so, you know, that's good. I'm okay with that. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep an eye on our stability, because we need to raise it. <laughs> I want to get it into the positives, but it never gives me anything to raise it to the positives for free. Sometimes the RNG won't let me be, so we've got to spread a little controversy, and I won't uh, do any more m m rhymes. How's that? Is everyone okay with that? I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, no one's colonized Taiwan. That's good. Um, 
and a pretty uneventful episode, to be honest with you. I, I, I knew this was going to happen when we chose Manchuria, though, so, you know, the only person I can be kicking in the face is me. I would just like to see our stability raise a little bit. Oh, and we're making some more money, which is... You know what? I'll take the peasants. I'll take the peasants. We'll come on down. Uh, and, you know, we'll stomp them, hopefully. I cannot take the legitimacy hit right now. And next month we'll be able to go back to even freaking stability. This game can be a real piss taker sometimes. Hmm. Okay. Uh, they're still at five. They're still at three. We're gonna take out these peasants because, you know, fuck them. We'll reinforce, but we should still win. We shouldn't have a problem. Yep, we won. Okay. Uh, back up to Hulunbur. And you, back up to Boduna. Yep, there we go. Suck it, game. We're gaining, you know, slight legitimacy. And I, I honestly think I might need to start just buying legitimacy or stability here for a little while and just kind of accept it. Um. Yeah, it may, it may indeed be that case so I don't want to have to waste any more time to get to our national idea so we can start colonizing but you know like I said this game it feels like this is gonna be a if we survive this long a, we're gonna just take off later on the Orient horde can't sustain that size the Ming can't sustain that size they're still at war oh my god this this may be the end for them. It may. May well be the end. And we're going to tech up in military one more time. Oh, thing, you know, it doesn't look like a lot's happening, but a lot actually really kind of is. Things are just going crazy, man. Um, so I think I'm going to invest in this stability. I think that that's a good idea. I was paused, and we are slipping down in the ranks. <sighs> um, you know, and we need to, because if we attack them, we are going to lose the stability no matter what. So, we are teching up, which is awesome. We can build an armory, which is great. Things, things may not be going so terribly after all. We're going to sit here and relax while our monarch points are real low. Um, I wonder how they're doing. Uh, I'd imagine they're, they're not doing so well. We're gonna keep a lookout. The Oriot Horde may well be shrinking, which is good. Which you know, they're they're in Brailden. Pretty big war. We'll see how that goes for them. They may just be spreading completely out of control as well, though. Keep in mind. Um, we can build improvements. Yes, yes, we can. Um, you know, I don't want to. What is armories? Yes, I can. You know, let's build. Well, that was quick. <laughs> well, what did it take? Um, I don't know what it took. So let's see. Build. It costs 10. Okay, I see what it costs. I see. Okay. That's fine. Um, it'll make it so that... Um, they insulted... Who insulted us? An alliance offer from Ayat 2. They insulted us? They insulted us. Declare war. Stability effects. Minus one. They are our ally with Ashan. Who cares? Um, yeah, we're gonna take, you know... I'm gonna save. <laughs> I'm gonna save. And, uh... Save. Save. So we're in a good place now. 
they're at war with one, two, three, and four. So this will be our this will be their fifth war. And I'll show you guys just what I'm talking about. Um, declare war. And you know, we're gonna take Dornod and Jingol. We've done this a couple times. If you you'll um, call to arms from one of our allies. I don't want to lose all of our prestige. I don't know where Ek is, but we don't really have a choice but not to go to war with them. So, so I don't want to lose the prestige. We're already losing it. Um, our stability is low. And uh, hopefully... Um, hopefully they're so entangled in a war with, you know, everything else that we'll be able to gain the colon colonies that we've wanted for so long, man. It's possible. It's possible that this is our, our time. And they're winning, <laughs> actually. They're winning that war, so we need to keep an eye out. Um, you know, like I said, I just want to cut and... Yep, there's their men. Like I said, it's... Uh, this is going to be the end for us, I think. We'll see. Oh, um, that's always good. Let's just go and engage them, and uh, you'll see what I mean when they outrank us. Tw yeah, they are destroying us. Or maybe not. Yeah, it's close. I can't cannot believe we won they're running um i can't believe we won that engagement um we're gonna send these guys down oh i cannot believe we actually won that that was pretty crazy the fact that they can afford just to send 12 men when they're you know um, so yeah, let's let's send one of our regiments down here, and um, I'd really like to see that just not come back. <laughs> I don't know where Khan guy is, so yeah, I'd really like to just you know let's see what suing for peace will get us. Um, Manchurian vassal, we need two hundred and Jesus. Um, Clay, Seed Province. They aren't going to do that, so. Our war score is fairly high. Um, giving, given time, a solution will present itself. Are you fucking kidding? This is what I'm talking about, guys. Oh, and we can raise our stability. Um, so yeah, you know, not a whole lot I can do here. Every, every time that, uh, oh, we have... Revolts possible. Oh, I see why. Uh, boost stability, please. And we'll, you know, start getting more legitimacy. Jesus. Game's being real freaking unfair right now. And I, I don't say that often, but... Every three seconds, they want to... Oh, and we're losing a lot of money, too. Not nah, actually not as much as I thought. Um, how are they doing in their other war? Not bad. <laughs> They're losing to us, though. Like I said, I just want to take, a, like, three provinces. Yep, here they come again. So, you know, I actually, you know, this has been a complete clusterfuck. So I think we're going to leave this here. And we'll have never gone to war with them. And, uh, that's a real freaking shame that the game keeps piling on. But, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.